Hey everybody, David and Justin here for another Whiskey Wednesday. Uh, really excited about today for a bunch of reasons. Uh, I, this is one of my favorite programs that uh, Breckenridge does where they blend uh, barrels with, uh, you know, two, two football players. Yep. Um, but I want to start off by telling you what we got going on today. Uh, Ed McCaffrey is coming down to the Argonaut from four to five. Uh, he'll be up on our mezzanine signing bottles. And we're also going to do, do a tasting with these two bottles to compare. Um, so it'll be really fun for you guys to see the difference. Yep. And then uh, this month, our, our drawing is going to be 100 names for a Weller foolproof single barrel. So that's going to be really cool, too. So these also will apply for that, that uh, 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 extra entries. And then our new tasting calendar we talked about last week, it's going to be a beer this week. So look, for, look forward to that. Yep. And yeah, so like David said, fun program that they do every year at Breckenridge, uh, grabbing some alumni to create custom blends and having a little bit of a competition. Uh, fan vote voted on by you guys that buy it and try it. Um, we're doing um, Ed McCaffrey's blend is the orange blend. And I think the first one in the glass is the blue blend right now, which is uh, Randy Gratishar. So those are the two teams competing. Uh, they also have a vodka that they release, uh, Broncos branded every year. Great partnership with them. It's always fun having these sort of things and having um, Ed McCaffrey come down here today is going to be awesome. Uh, David and I will be upstairs on the yeah. mezzanine uh, while we're doing everything, pouring, yeah. uh, talking to everybody, um, handing out bottles. So come down. It's going to be an awesome time. And uh, speaking of talking to everybody, uh, we're trying, you know, if anybody has any questions live, feel free to comment and ask, and uh, we'll, we're happy to answer them. Well, let's get yep. in. Yeah. So first one in the glass, like I said, um, the Gratishar blend, I think th this year it's the Broncos country blend. Uh, so they change the name uh, for these every year. Last year, I think was the cha or either champions or back-to-back -back blend. Um, but they've done a different name for each release since they started it. Well, and yes, last year was Big Al, and unfortunately he lost. Great guy. Yeah. Um, but he, you know, wh whoever wins gets to move on to the next year. So Ed's moved on to this year. Yeah. Uh, Big Al's was kind of a little different on the, you know, drier yeah. side, a little funkier. Yeah. It was this a, is this is on the a lot sweeter on the nose. Yeah. Got that confection thing going on. Man. Yeah. I think he might give Ed run for his money. That's pretty good. Yeah, this is good. Um, um, just classic, great Breckenridge bourbon, but uh, yeah, it's it's definitely on the sweeter side, which I, I'm kind of digging these yeah. days towards the ho get towards the holidays. Yeah, it's yeah, it's getting towards dessert bourbon time of year. Um, nice and sweet, like David said, confectionery, a little bit of baking spice. It's kind of like a maybe like a vanilla cookie or dangerously smooth. Yeah, real easy to drink. Um, definitely a porch pounder. This one would be easy to put back more than you were expecting. All right, and moving on to Ed's blend. All right, let's see what you got this year. Yeah. So right. different. Yeah. A lot earthier, yeah. like dustier on the nose. Kind of smells like a, kind of smells like a Rick House, honestly. Yeah, that's reminds me of like uh, some of your your Four Roses, like got that yeah little, little funk on the nose. Definitely like like an old library kind of thing. Man, it's gonna be a tough competition. That's really good. Um, yeah, it's Wait. typically more my style of what yeah. I drink. Yeah, usually like I lean towards the funkier, earthier. Uh, like we try so much bourbon and like the straight down the middle, caramel, vanilla, all that. I, but, I love it, but yeah. like it's fun to try these that are a little bit off profile. But both of these are awesome. It's yeah, great. It's cool. Side by side, how, yeah. how different they are. Yeah, and this year vastly different. Yeah, it's, yeah, like you're definitely going to be able to tell when you come by and try these for yourself. Uh, there's a world of difference between the two, and there's not a, there's not a wrong choice. Yeah, this one's spicy too, and this one's not at all. Yeah. So just kind of cool. All right, well, everybody, don't forget, come down today. Uh, say what's up to Ed McCaffrey. Get a bottle signed. Taste these uh, great bourbons. 
believe they're on sale. Get some extra entries for our drawing this month for the Weller Foolproof. Yep. Um, and yeah, we'll uh, we'll see you today. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers.